This video is brought to you by leddistributors.net. Today we're going to be showing you the three components that are involved in installing our new RGB flex strip. So we'll go ahead and start with the first one, which as you can see here is the flex strip itself. Now the difference between this strip and many of the other strips that we sell is the four wires. So we have the blue wire, the red, the green, and this black wire right here is going to be the power. Okay. Now the second component that you're going to also need is going to be the a controller with the switching device. Now the controller we have here is an LDX4 and the switching device that we're going to be using is a membrane panel. Now you can use this membrane panel and one thing you'll notice is it has the power, different shows and colors and some presets. Now the advantage to, the, uh, to this membrane panel is it's very low profile and it's also backlit. So for example if you're walking down the hallway and you're trying to find the buttons or read the buttons um, it illuminates in the background so you can easily view that. So now the third component is going to be the power supply. So we have our basic power supply here. Now one thing you do want to keep in mind is that uh, depending on the length of the flex strip that you're going to be using you're going to need to get the appropriate amps for it. So for example if you have about 16 feet of flex strip uh, you're going to need to have about 3 amps of power. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and put all of these three components together. What we're going to do is we're going to light this globe here. So we'll go ahead and we'll tie this up in a little knot so it doesn't get loose in there. And we'll go ahead and put it inside. And we'll go ahead and we'll light it up. Any Harry Potter fans out there, go ahead and go get your magician's hat and we'll do a little bit of magic here. So we went ahead and changed the background and dimmed the lights a little bit so you can kind of see, uh, get an idea of the colors and how bright this new flex strip is. So as you can see, I've already put a small section of it inside the globe and the current color that it's on right now is a white. Now for this demonstration we're going to be using the LDX1 which is a little bit different than what you saw earlier. Um, it's very easy, very simple, and you can easily change the uh, shows with the click of a button. Now what I'm showing you here is I'm putting my hand next to the globe so you can kind of see the color reflecting off my hand. So we have the red color right here and then we'll go ahead and change it to a green color. Okay. So as you can see, um, it's, it is pretty bright. And just by taking a look at these three colors, the white, the red, and the green, it can kind of give you a better idea of uh, the different variety and the different possibilities that this flex strip can provide you with. So for example, let's say you have some guests over and you want to go ahead and change the lighting a little bit. Uh, what you can do is you can change it to a soothing blue color like you see here. Um, and that'll get people a little bit more settled in um, let's say you're having dinner or something. Um, but let's say as the evening progresses, you want to get people to kind of get on their feet, maybe put on some music, dance a little bit, and you might want to change the lighting to something a little bit more fast paced, like a, like a fast color wash where the colors kind of fade in, fade out, and shows you a variety of different colors. So just looking at this demonstration, you can see that this RGB strip has a lot of capabilities and it can pretty much turn one room into many different rooms. So if you're looking into purchasing this item, just go ahead and visit our website uh, at www.leddistributors.net.